cooking with bear spray. Man, them jalapenos just... Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Dude RV. It is July 8th, 2020. We are in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. The numbers are rising faster than they can count them here in Texas. So we're going to get out of Texas. We're going to go north, cross the Red River, and pay a visit to a little Corps of Engineer campground. It's Little River Park on Little Pine Lake in Oklahoma. So come along with us as we head north across the Red River and pay a visit to the Corps of Engineer Lake, Pine Lake, Little River Park. So let's get on the road and go. Two hours later, we have arrived. Little River Park on Pine Lake. We are in, what side are we in? We're gonna do a site review. This is beautiful country up here. Sorry about the sun. I think it's A4, I forgot. A4. We're not close to the water. Uh, was hoping to get over here where I had some, some afternoon shade, but you know, all I had to, to go by was the recreation.gov website. So right now, there's not any shade. There's some trees though, so I think pretty sure that's west. So hopefully we'll have some late afternoon shade. There's no wind, it's, it's very still, very sticky, but you know, it's July. I ain't complaining. Site review. Back on track here. This is an ADA compliant. This is a handicap site. Uh, it didn't say that when I reserved it. We've got a very flat concrete pad. This is a full connection site. So we actually have sewer. Didn't know that when I reserved the site either. It was 30, 50. And of course we got a 20 amp plug. And I'm maxing that out. So the water, it's great because there's concrete pad all, all over. Now we have Verizon Wireless and we, got, we had one bar. Fortunately, I've got the unidirectional antenna now and I can point it, there's a cell tower. There's a cell tower that way. But anyway, site review, back on track. What can I say? We got this great big concrete patio, so I don't have to worry about tripping over any obstacles. We've got a burn barrel fire pit. Uh, not overly impressed with the charcoal cooker, but you know, I bring my own with me anyway. Um, that's a little, it's, it's in bad shape. That's in bad shape too.
this is a COE park, in case you didn't know. Um, it's always a roll of the die. You never know what you're going to get until you get here with a, well, with any campground, but especially with the, the COE campgrounds. It's a beautiful place. Uh, so we're going to get on a scooter here in a little bit and go scout it out. We got the table for cooking, I guess, a lantern hook kind of thing, and a nice big metal table that is wheelchair accessible. Bathrooms are right up the way, and the lake is, is down there. We'll go check all that out here shortly. Go to go eat some lunch. Little River Park. I'm out here on the point of Loop A. There's the group pavilion up there. I'll tell you what, man, this, this, is, this is a cool place. Cool campsite. Now there's no pad. You can see somebody's had their big fifth wheel in here. Now you got a big toy hauler fifth wheel with a rear deck. Man, how cool would that be? See that here on this point? Look at this whole lake. There's no shade, so you better have. Uh, I mean, it's just 30 amp too, I think. Yeah, it's just 30, 30 amp and water. Water's way over there. Make sure you bring a long water hose. All right, I'm gonna go set a time-lapse camera down here. Stay tuned, more to come. Won't be doing too much more of that. Hope that footage is worth it. All right. Let's go see some more stuff. If you're looking for a place to hold a rally, got a big group of people that want to get together and camp together, this group pavilion has got 30 amp plugs all the way around and water connections as well. So you could do your motorcycle rally, your, your teardrop rally, big fireplace of course the back side of that fireplace is collapsing and a great big group cooker little river park i've already seen three deer we've only been here two hours that's pretty good odds all right let's go see more stuff little river park for all of my boat ramp loving followers there's your boat ramp and they have got one one nice, this is a brand new courtesy dock. There's no question that it's a courtesy dock because there's a sign that says no fishing and no swimming. So there you have it, folks. Courtesy dock, not a fishing dock. But it is ADA accessible. You can roll a wheelchair right down to the, to the edge. And I really like the fact they got a safety stop here. So, so if you, you get going too fast, you'll get stopped. I'm really liking this park. Let's go see some more stuff. This is a this is a really beautiful park. Little River Park. And it's it's deserted. Um, there's only a handful of people camping in this big park. So I'm over here by what side is this? I'm in the G Loop. And these are kind of pull through sites that look right out on the water. They're 30 amp, they're 30 amp pull through sites, but they're right on the water. I mean, easy to walk down to the lake. Here at the dump station, let me get turned around here. All right, 
and something just caught my attention. Hey, it's a dump station. It's a, it's a one-way dump station. So you come in from this direction. But look at the, the road down here. So if you come to Little Pine Park, you need to be real aware of this when you come to dump your trailer. You see, <laughs> they've been dragging real bad. Just keep that in mind. I'm over here in the D Loop, Little River Campground on Pine Lake. Now, judging by the amount of uh, driftwood, this area actually will flood, or when the lake floods, this area is actually underwater. But if, if you want to do some primitive camping and some bank fishing, or just some bank fishing during the day when you're camping here, this is, this is the place to come. Because you can actually just walk right down to the water. We'll go all the way out here to the point. Now you're going to be able to see the, the, the full run on the FPV video, and you're going to want to watch that because there's a there's a hill that I just went down that was, yeah, baby. Good thing I'm wearing a helmet. Kind of steep. I broke the 20 mile an hour sound barrier on the scooter coming down that hill. So pretty. If you're, you're coming to Little River Campground and you're bringing your kids with you, they're probably going to be hot and they're complaining, especially if it's July like it is today. Well, rest assured, there is a swim area, an actual sandy beach to go swim and get cool. Swing set, there's a seesaw, there's even a rinse station right there so you can rinse the sand off and you won't track it back into the into the tent, the travel trailer, the motor home, whatever your RV vehicle of choice is. Here in Little River Park, there are actually two boat ramps, both with courtesy docks, not fishing piers. Here in the B Loop, 30 amp and water sites with no no pads at all. Some of them look fairly level, but some of them, on the other hand, you know, it's, how do you even know where to park? <laughs> Still a great place, beautiful place to camp. So if you're camping at Little River Park and you're worried about dragging your bumper on that really steep dump station over by the day use swim area, the D loop area, they have a very accessible two-lane dump station. So you don't have to worry about dragging your, your tail over here. Good stuff to know. I have made it to the front gate in my preliminary scouting mission for the FPV tour. And they've got a great big, looks like newly posted sign here that kind of tells you where everything is. So we have We just came from over here, the B and the D area. And this is where I'm set up, right there. And we've already seen this, this E area, of the boat ramp. We're about out of stuff to see. I think if I come here in a more, more temperate time of the year, the H loop is where I would prefer to set up camp. Much, very, very simple, easy access to the to the water. Subject all of the campsites are up on the, the rock berm, but you know you can't have perfection everywhere. I actually tried to get one of these sites, but they were not available. They are water and 
Looks like 50 amp. Based on the size of that power pole. Yep. 30 and 50. H loop. Here at Little River Park, day one is coming to an end. As you can hear, Ziva is crying for her supper. She said we're very late and she's starving. I don't expect much excitement to happen from this point forward. Uh, got bait. I'm gonna go fishing in the morning because it's just too hot and sticky right now. I'm just gonna sit here and let the wind blow on me and then cook supper and go to bed. So stay tuned. We'll check in with you tomorrow. I got hungry. Bacon and eggs, baby. Actually, we're doing taquitos. That's an apple smoked bacon, and it smells so good. Well, it's been a very quiet day here at Little River Park. It's just really too hot and sweaty, sticky to do do much of anything other than go and swimming and. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that cold water. So anyway, we're going to grill up some corn and actually doing burgers tonight. And I'm going to sweat down some onions and jalapenos to top on that, put on top of that burger. So. You got the, what am I trying to say? All right. So. For tonight's meal, jalapenos and onions sweated down on the cast iron skillet. <clears throat> We're gonna put that on top of a, a bison burger. And then we have some vegetable medley that Yappy put together. I, I don't know what's in that. I think it's squash and zucchini. And of course we're doing the slow grill corn. But man, oh man, 
This has turned out to be one of my favorite things to fix when I'm camping. It goes well with everything. So after I've sweated these down, I'm gonna do a quick sear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crank the heat up on this cast iron. I'm gonna do a quick sear on the burger patties, bison burger patties, and then I'm gonna throw them on top of the charcoal. So we get that sweated jalapeno onion flavor mixed with the charcoal. Oh, son! I've been doing that with ribeye steaks. I just can't, I can't wait to do it with the burger. So we've come up with a new show idea. While we're sweating down our jalapenos and onions, and man, they are they are looking good. So I'm thinking about maybe doing a a, a series of chefs videos, a video series called Cooking with Bear Spray. What are your thoughts? Post in the comments down below. <laughs> Cooking with bear spray, man, them jalapenos just. Anyway, we, we, we got the jalapenos all, and the onions all sweated down, and I have just moved over to the charcoal and slapped the burger balls on there. That's ground bison. So I'm gonna give them a good sear on both sides and then drop them onto the charcoal and let them cook low and slow. Stand by. All right, so I just, just did a quick flip. Got a good brown on one side, smashed on flat, flipped it over. Going to get a little brown on that top side, and then we're going to pull the skillet and put them right on the grate. All right, I pulled the skillet. I raised the grate. I got a really hot charcoal fire going here. A little bit too hot, but now we're, we're, we're going to take it just like a regular hamburger now gonna be so good <laughs> can't wait we're coming to the close to the end the final stretch on the mega burgers the mega bison burgers got a little bit of swiss cheese on there got some bacon from bacon and eggs this morning baby as soon as i feel comfortable enough that that is done and won't make me sick i'm gonna chow down more to come all right we're gonna have some background noise it's really hot we're running the air conditioner and we're not gonna turn it off for you i'm just saying all right here is the mega burger the bear spray burger i'm gonna start a new trend no i'm just gonna eat well, our visit to Little River Park on Pine Creek Lake is coming to an end. We're going to leave here a little, a little about one day early because it's just too hot and humid. Too humid. We're going to go back to home base and get under some cool AC. Hey, I appreciate y'all coming along for the ride. If you enjoyed our visit to Little River Park, Hey, give me one of those thumbs up and blast me out across your social media. And if you've not already done so, remember to click on that subscribe button and hit the bell as well. I post new videos every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Central Time. You don't want to miss one. For those of you who have been following along, I am so deeply honored. Thank you for allowing me to have some of your time. That being said, Y'all come back now, you hear?